I'm Heather Seitz, an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! and I'm here with our Tuesday tips. Today's tip involves adding a little bit of depth to your stamped images. This way is super easy and you won't even have to have a whole lot of tools to do it or a whole lot of artistic ability either. So let's get started. Today I'm going to be using our artistically inked stamp set, but this works with so many of our stamps. Don't be um, fooled into thinking that what I show you today only works with these stamps. I'm going to be using the little flower stamp right here because I want to show you on this one how you can add depth to that flower. First I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp the flower with just one single color just because I want us to have an image to compare it to once we've, once we've done the um, little trick I'm going to show you. So as you can see, this image, I'll put it up to the camera as close as I can, it looks beautiful like this. These are beautiful stamps, they have a little shading in and of themselves, and you can leave it just like that and still have a wonderful card. But I want to show you how to take it just one step further. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp this first into the pale papaya ink, which is the color that I used before. Then I'm going to take one of our sponge daubers. You can also use one of our blending brushes. These work nicely as well. Either one, it's up to you what you want to do. Today I'm going to use the sponge dauber and I'm just going to ink it up on my ink pad. And then I'm going to dab it around the edge of my flower. Not the whole flower, just the very edge. As you can see, it's pretty quick. I'm not doing it in any specific pattern or um, precision. I'm just stamping it. Then I'm going to go ahead and stamp it onto my paper. And now you can see how you've got two colors in that image and it just gives it a little bit of depth. You saw how quick that was, how easy it was, and you can do it with so many different types of stamps. For example, we have another set out called Sweet as a Peach. And you can do that around the edge of the peach to give the peach a little shading and color. So you don't have to stop with just flowers. Play with it and find the different things that you like to use. Till then, have a great day.